hello good morning all today in this video we're going to discuss about how to create a custom module in Odo version 13 so in the screen currently we are seeing Odo version 13 so if I go to settings and from the settings you can see this is Odo 13 alpha 1 community edition so what I have done is I have already just created a custom module so if I go to apps menu you can see if I search school here you can see you will get a module so if I click on this module info you can see the other is Odo mates it's Odo mates and you can see the related information so let's see how we can create such a module in Odo version 13 so if I go to the directories so this is my custom add-ons path that is inside Odo master you can see this is my custom add-ons path and inside the custom add-ons path I have created a folder that is om underscore school so one you have to create once you start the development you should add a custom add-ons path mm -hmm. and inside your add-ons path you should create a folder that is om underscore school this given us the folder name that is this will be the technical name of your module so my technical name of my module is om underscore school so inside this folder we will place all the files related with the modules that we are going to develop so if i open this folder you can see we have different folders here that is models security static views and two python files that is init file and manifest file so for a module the basic files are manifest file and init file so if you check any auto modules you will see this in file and the manifest file so giving the name you should take care that is for the init file to underscore followed by init again to underscore dot py and for the manifest to underscore first then manifest to underscore dot py so you cannot change this name or you can just avoid that uh, underscore and you can you cannot give the name like that though this is the standard format that is to underscore so if i click on this edit from here that is rename this should be to underscore first then in it then again to underscore dot py so that is init file and the manifest file so let's see what's there inside the manifest file so if i go to here that is inside the pycharm i'll take my module that is om host om score so i'll just open the manifest file so inside the manifest file you can see we have this much things that is you will have a brief idea about the module so right now what you see in the screen is that this here that is inside the apps menu you will see the information that you have given inside the manifest file so you can see this is the name of our module which is coming from that this that is name from this name key you are getting that uh, that name and we have specified the version as 13.0.1.00 so if i check the apps menu you can see the latest version that is the version we have specified inside the specified inside the manifest file that is 13.0.1.00 is coming here and you can see technical name of the module that is technical name is the folder name so here if i check you can see the folder name of our module is om underscore school that it will be the technical name of our module then if i go to the manifest file again you can see category so once you build a module you have to specify its category suppose if you are developing a module inside the sales category sales module that which extends the sales functionality you can give the same category as of sales so if i search category here inside the code with the filter as python you can see different categories available that is hidden categories there human resource categories there website live chat categories the accounting categories there like that there are a lot of categories inside Odo. so if i see, you can see localization website like that lot of categories are available but by default there is no category available for the hospital management software so sorry not hospital management so no for school management software so i have just chosen as the category as extra tools so you can see there is category extra tools so i have specified my category as extra tools so i have forgot to mention that here in this video we are going to create a module which stands with school management that is we are just going to what we are going to do in this video is that we will create a table inside the database for keeping the student record and we will add menus in the view and menu action and views like tree view and form view so let's continue with the manifest file so we have given the category as extra tools and in the other i have specified my name that is odo mates so if you keep this line as empty so if you haven't specified the other in the manifest file by default the other will be odo sa so you can see right now as i have given the other as odo mates here you can see the other is by odo mates will be coming here and if i go to the next tab that is you can specify suppose as i am the developer of this module i have given the website as odomates.com so if you are developing your module you can give the name as xyz.com or as per your need so given website will be available here inside the website field then you can see like license so in the Odoo different license are available so 
that if I search AGPL3 inside the code, you can see with the Python filter, you can see these are the available uh, license in the Odoo. That is, you, ha you, ha you have GPL2, GPL3, GPL3 again, uh, GPL3 or later any version, AGPL3, LGPL3. So you can choose a license among this given license. So you cannot add a new license other than this. Either you can just GPL2 from this. So if you haven't specified the license in the manifest file, by default it will be LGPL version 3. That is this LGPL version 3. That is LGPL 3. So that's about the license. And inside the summary, you have to give a brief idea about the module. So I have given the summary as school management software. And in the description also I have given module to manage school. So if I go to here, you can see description here. So I have in the activate the develop mode. So I'll just go to settings. And from the settings, I will activate the developer mode. So from here, I will activate the developer mode. So you can see developer mode is, I think, already activated. So I'll just activate the activate the de developer mode with test, test assets. So if I go to the apps menu again, okay, from the apps menu, I'll just search school again. And if I open this module info, okay, uh, right now there is no option okay fine so that's about the description you can give a brief description about the module and inside the depends you have to specify your, which all modules your module are depending suppose if i am creating a module which extends the functionality of a sale order sale or sale modules i have to give the sales as it depends right now my module is not depending any other auto add-ons so i just give the depends base as the depends so suppose if you are extending a functionality in account so you have to specify account module as the depends so that's about the depends and inside the data file data tag what we will do that we will import the files so here in the views folder you can see we have made some xml files so all the xml files and security related files has to be imported that is in the data you have to specify which all file has to be loaded into the system so i have given uh, there is a file inside security that the name is ir.model.access csv you can see there is a file i have given that here security bar ir.model.access csv has to be loaded then inside the views folder here you can see inside the views folder i have a file called student.xml so it has also be loaded where i have defined the menu action and views so it has also to be loaded so i have specified it in the manifest file so that's about the data and if you have any demo files like uh, suppose once you install a module if you need to get uh, some demo data into the system you can specify it will it in the demo here and i will leave the queue app as empty for now and i have given installable equal to true so that install button will become visible here so right now i have already installed the module so if the module is not installed you will get a install button so that's about the installable equal to true so also you can see application is set as true so once your application is set as true you can see here you have a boolean field called application so it will be true so once you give that application equal to true you can see by default if you come to the apps menu so from here i will come to the apps menu you can see by default we have an apps filter so what this app filter will do is that it will filter the application where the application equal to true is set in the manifest file so you can see if you have ask by default filter apps filter is there you can see by default there is 52 modules in the apps filter so if i re remove the apps filter you can see there is around 355 modules so once you give the application equal to true in the manifest file the module will comes under the apps filter so and auto install is set to the false that is there is no need to install the module automatically we will install it manually so auto install is set to the true so that's all about the manifest file in the Odoo. hope you have got a brief idea about this manifest file so now we will go to the next basic file of the Odoo that is init file so don't uh, get confused or don't rename these files that is two underscore followed by init then again two underscore followed by dot py function so that this is how you have to give the name for the init file and the manifest file so in the init file what we have to do is that we have to import the python files so right now there is no any python files out the side so i have given from dot import models so i have defined so before going to the python file i will just explain the concept of the different uh, stru module structure that is inside the models folder we will place all the python related files you can see we have placed the python file that is student.py file here inside the models and in the security folder we will place all the security related files inside the security folder and inside the static folder we will specify uh, uh, in the static folder inside the static folder we will right now we have just given a image that is description icon dot image i will come to it and that is in the models folder we will give 
or we will define the python files and in the security folder we will place all the security related files and inside the views folder we will place all the xml files that is view related files so that is the model structure of odoo that is mbc concept and in the let's go to the models so from the outer init file you can see i have imported this folder that is from dot import models from dot import model this folder name that is models is given then inside this model you can see init file again that is same init file that is two underscore init again two underscore dot py that is the format how you can define an init file and from this init file that is init file inside the models folder you can see i have imported the student.py that is from dot import students so from this init file i have imported this folder and inside that folder i have again an init file and from that init file i have imported this student.py file so inside this student.py file i will create a database table that is here you can see from odo import fields comma models that is default syntax to import fields and models to system and you can see i have defined a new class that is class school student so what i'm going to do is that here i am going to create a table inside the database so we have created a database right now we are here database that is odoo v13 so inside the database we need different tables to, to store different values in the database so i am going to create a new table that is school dot student so this is the name of the name of the table to store the student details so i have given the description of the model as student table so this is simply how you can create a database table and regarding this inherit i will come to it later in the same video itself so this is simply how you can define a table and inside this table you have to define fields like inside a table suppose if we create a table called student inside that student table we will have different fields like we have to store student name student age student gender note guardian etc has to be stored so for that we inside the table we will define the fields so you can see how we have defined the fields that is here you can see name equal to fields dot care that is this is the name is the technical name of the field it's a type of field type character fields dot care string of the name is string for the field is name and another field is defined as of type integer you can see which is age that is integer field and guardian again a character field and a node field is added that which type with type text fields dot text field field dot car fields dot integer make sure that fields is imported here and so this is how you can define the fields that is here we have defined a character field integer field character again text and selection field selection field for the gender and a binary field binary field for storing a, the image of the patient sorry image of the student so this is simply how you can define fields inside the model and we have given description for the table that is student table so this is the format class class name models dot model make sure that this is imported from from odo import fields and models then you have to give a name for the table that you are going to create inside the database that is here i have given the name as school dot student and description i have given as student table and inside the table i have defined one two three four five six fields that is name character field age integer field guardian character field again note text field gender selection field and a in binary field to store the image so that's all about the how you can create a table inside the database so that's done then we will go to the views folder that is inside the views folder we have defined how the things has to be displayed in the ui so first of all i can show you i have imported this student.xml file inside the manifest file here you can see i have called this file inside the manifest file in the data section that is views bar student.xml so i have if i have opened this student.xml file you can see just ignore this much part right now i'll just comment it out so what we have done here is that we have added a xml version 1.0 encoding utf8 is given so that's done so let me just make the correct yeah that's done this is given that is xml version 1.0 encoding utf8 and odoo tag so inside this that is this is the common for all the xml files and inside this tag we will add the things so if i scroll down you can see what i have done here is that this is menu item so first of all we need a menu that is on clicking a menu we have to see the corresponding form to enter the student details and save it so first, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a menu item menu item we have to give an id for the menu that is i have given the id as school root menu so first of all i need a main menu so i have given the name as school and web icon so regarding the web icon so
so currently we are developing inside the odoo community edition so if i use some themes or if i install this module in enterprise edition you will have a different ui and along with the menu item you will have a image field where uh, image has to be shown so if you haven't specified the web icon for the module the image will be empty so you can give a image to the menu item that is yeah, this is how you can give web underscore icon here you can see this is my module name om underscore school our module name then static that is static folder here you can have the static folder and inside the static folder you have description folder you can see here is this is the description folder and inside the description folder i have placed an image that is icon.png so this should be my image of my web, uh, menu so if i open the icon.png you can see this is the icon so i have assigned a web icon for the menu that is you can see web icon om school that is module name comma path of the image that's done and you can see sequence is given as seven so use of the sequence is that you can see here we have different menus like discuss sales school link tracker invoicing apps and settings so sequence is used to arrange the order of the menu in the list so if you give the lower the lower sequence the menu will comes at the top and if you are giving a higher sequence menu will go down the sequence so that's the use of sequence lower the sequence menu will be listed first so this is how you simply you can create a menu and i am creating a sub menu under this menu so i have created this as a root menu and i will again create a so if i go front end you can see here i have a school menu that is main menu and under the main menu i have another menu called students so that's what i am creating here so here i am creating a new menu item that is id should be unique school student menu web icon is not necessary i'll just remove it and i will give the name, menu, name, name of students and here i have an action i will come to it and parent so as this menu has to be comes under this menu i am set the parent of this menu as this menu so i just copy this menu id and i have given it here so this menu will comes under this menu so parent is set and for this menu i have given the sequence as 10. so you can see you have an extra thing here that is action so once you come the school is a main menu under the main menu you have a sub menu called students and while clicking the students menu something has to be executed that is right now you can see once you click on students menu you have a tree view here that is tree view and a form view here for uh, you can create a records from here so that's for the action that is on clicking the menu what has to be happened that has to be specified inside the action so that's the action so action is given as action student so that's I have commented it right now i'll just uncomment it so you can see we have to create an action that is we have to create an action recording ir.actions.act window that is menu action and you have to specify an unique id for the record that is i have given the ideas action student that is action which executing when clicking on the students menu so i have given an id and name is given as students and the type should be ir.actions.act window and the rest model is school.student so if i go to the student.py file you can see this is our model name school.student so that model name has to be given here that is on clicking this menu we have to show that model that is school.student and inside the view mode we have to specify so if i go to the sales module so if i go sales here you can see we have got different view type view types that is we have this view kanban view calendar view reward graph and activity view so in the view mode you have to specify which all mode should be there for our action right now i have specified we have we need only three comma form that is we have only two views that is tree view and form view and i have specified make in the context as empty now and domain is also kept as empty either you can just remove these fields from here or you can add, leave it as such here and inside the help section i have specified as create your first student create your students here so if i go to the student menu the school menu and if i okay if i filter an empty something wrong so if i filter a name equal to you can see GHG phase okay if i click on apply you can see there is no record matching so this is the message create your students here so that message will be displayed here so if there is no any records which matching the filter or if there is no records in the corresponding menu the help will be shown create your first student here so that's this message is for that is help message and you can see these 
action has been given here along with the menu item that is that action is linked with the menu so on clicking this menu this action will get executed so that's done and here you can see still there is a commented file so if i uncomment this what i'm going to do is that i'm going to define the tree view you can see here we have given we have two view mode that is we have tree and form view so i have to define the corresponding views so here I'm defining the tree view you can see model is ir.ui.view so we are creating a new view so i have given the ideas student tree view which stands with the topic so while giving the name for the records you should give appropriate names so as i'm going to create tree view for the student i have given the name as student underscore tree view and in the name you can give as such as as, as per your like so i have given the name as student school dot student dot tree and the model name so model name has to be given correctly you can see i have already told in the action that is menu action you can see first model is given as school dot student so uh, that is what we have created inside the python that is school dot student so copy this model name and paste it inside the model of the tree view school dot student and field name arch type xml and tree tag so this is how you can define a tree that is tree we have to give a string and inside the tree tag you have to uh, uh, have to specify which all field has to be displayed inside the tree view so here i have given field name that is name is student name that is name field which student age and student guardian has to be displayed inside the tree view that is three fields has to be displayed in the tree view that is name age and guardian so if i go to the corresponding here and if i remove this filter you can see by default i have already created a record that is you can see this is the tree view so if i click on here you can see edit view list here you will see what i have added code here that is you can see three string students this is the same what i have added here and you can see if i close this you can see three fields inside the tree view so this is the tree view you can see name is there age is there garden is there so this is what you have given as the tree view that's so that's all about the tree view you have to create a record inside inside ir.ui.view so now i will uncomment the view i have created for the form view so i'll just comment and comment it so here i have given the record id as student form view same earlier i have given a student tree view so, so here i have updated the name as student form view which stands with the topic and model is same ir.ui view name you should have given a name for the record that is i have given the name as school.student.form and model should be the same here you can, here you can see the model is school.student which is same here model is school.student and field name field name arch type xml so here you can see here you have defined as tree tag tree tag and here you have given us form so here you can see here you have specified as tree tag that is for tree view and for the form view you have will use form so that's the difference so in the set that form you, you have given the string as students and inside the form if i open the corresponding form you can see form you have a name field here that's so inside the title so if i check here this field is coming at the top so you can see these four fields are bottom side and this field is in the top so you can see uh, that is div class oe title so once you give define a field inside the class oe title that is here you can see div class oe title i have added the field name so that's why this field is coming at the top and you are getting a blue color in the background as because it is the required field so if i go to the pycharm sorry if i go to the corresponding model you can see the name field is defined as so if i ju just close this the name field is defined as required field that's why you are getting a background light blue color so if i go come back to the xml file again so you can see i have added a field name image widget is given as image and class oe of the so that you are getting an option to add image here so if i delete this image you can see this is oe avatar class oe avatar so you are getting such a view because of the class oe avatar and widget is given as image so field name image you can see this field we have defined here that is image that's added and after that i have specific in that OE class, div class oe title i have given the field with the name name and after that i have added the group tag so the group tag is used because if you just give the, the field name without group the field label won't get visible so if you check here you can see we have defined the name field here but you can see there is no string like this 
here you can see gender is coming as the label but for this field you are not getting the label that's because this field is not defined inside the group tag so if you only define the field inside the group tag you will get the field label so and inside the group you can see but here you can see inside the group i have defined groups again that is because for splitting the fields into two sides so you can see gender is in this side and age and garden is coming in the other side so in the first group i have added the gender field so it's coming in the left side and in the next group that is in the next group i have added age and guardian so it's coming in the right side of the screen so this is how simply you can define a form view in odoo and if i scroll down you can see after the sheet that is you can see a sheet tag here so that sheet tag is for getting such a view you can see a sheet tag sheet like thing inside where the mouse is moving so you can see this is the sheet so once you add the sheet you will get a such a box inside the screen so that's the use of the sheet tag so sheet tag is done then you can see div class oe chatter so this is the code you can just get from any every series so if i search control shift f you can see and if i change the filter to the xml you can see it's almost in every forms so what it does is div class oe chatter and field name message for our edits so this is the default code you can give it as such so what it does is that you can see below suppose if i discard this record okay you can see below this form you have send message log note schedule activities three options are there so that's are coming from this class that is oe chatter so for all adding a chatter to your form view you have to just copy this code that is new class oe chatter this field has to be given and once you add this chatter make sure that you have inherited so if i go to student.py you can see i have inherited mail.thread and mail.activity mixing so if you need to add chatter to your view you have to inherit mail.thread and mail.activity mixing so this is the what i have inherited and i have inherited these models to my model that is school.student and in the corresponding form view i have given div class oe chatter so the chatter will get added into your form view so that's done and now let's see what happens so that's all about the code so we have covered all the codes in the xml file and this init file is discussed student.py file is discussed and now we have the security folder and the static folder so in the static folder you can see suppose if i go to the apps menu you can go apps menu and if i search school again if i search school again here we have getting an icon that is we have a getting a module icon so if i just remove the filter you can see there is a lot of modules with no images that is this is the default image if you haven't given an image icon image it will be like this so but for our module we are getting an image so it is coming from that is static description and icon.png suppose if you need to add an icon for your module what you have to do is that you have to create a folder called static and inside the folder that folder you have to create another folder called description and inside that folder you have to place a file that is you have to place an image with the name icon.png it should be the png format with the name icon so once you give icon here that is this is the icon i have added you can see the icon here so that's the use of the static folder in my code right now so i'll just uh, close this and if you can see you have a security folder here so what happens with the security folder is that so you can see right now the school menu is visible here so if i go to settings you can see it's getting re reconnected so i'll just restart the service okay i will go just one minute I will just give the mail in the depend for this module as I am inheriting. Here you can see I am inheriting the models like mail.thread and mail.accity mixing. So I have given the depend mail as depend for this module. Along the base, I have added mail as depend. Now I will restart the service. And if I go to the apps menu or settings menu, you can see you are back to connection. If I go settings and technical. And if I scroll down, you can see security for file menu, security access rights. And if I search for school access right, so this is the record I have created, which is get created from the this folder. That is, I told already told that 
all the security related files will be placed inside the security folder so inside the security folder i have a file with the name ir.model.access.csv so the name has to be given as such that is ir.model.access.csv and inside this csv file we will define the access control list so the first line will be the same that is id comma name model id group id this is the syntax like heading header of the table that is id name model id group id permission read permission write permission create permission read so and right under that we will place the create a new access control list so i have given the ideas access school student and the name name is given us you can see after comma that is name is coming so i'm give, give the name as access school dot student and here, next is model id so model id is uh, right now my mod our newly created model is school dot student so i have to set the access right for that model that is model underscore that is the syntax model underscore model name that is model name is school dot student but instead of dot i have given underscore that is how it has to be given that is model underscore school underscore student and inside the group like you can see after the model it's group id so here i have specified i have given empty group that is it is available for all the groups that is global global role that this role is not specific to any group it's available for all the groups so i have it given it as empty and you can see next is permission read so one that is permission read permission is there next is write write permission is there that is one and you have the create permission that is one and you have the unlink permission that is delete so if you need to don't need to give any permission you can just put one zero instead of one so this is how what i have created a security access access control list and you can see this file is called inside the manifest file so if i go to the manifest file you can see that is called inside the data section that is security bar ir dot model access csv so this is the rule that we have created so what does is that suppose if you are if you haven't given this access right the menu won't become visible here that is if you have only specified the access right for the corresponding model the menu will get only visible so right now we have got the menu here and from the using clicking this menu i can create new record like or meets um, mail ages 25 guardian odo like that you can create new records and this is the form view and this is the tree view the tree view you can see multiple records so if you need to get the id of the this you can see this is the debug about debugger button which will which is only visible in the debug mode if you click on this you can see edit view list and if you click on edit view list you can see the external id is om school that is module name student tree view that is it is coming from here if i go scroll down you can see this is coming from here that is student tree view student tree view and if i switch to the form view if i switch to the form view you can see edit here debug button edit view form i'm school dot student view form that is our form view so this is how simply you can create a new module in odoo and install it so we will add this module to our github repository you can just search automates github in the google you will get our github repository and inside that repository we will have a, uh, a repo that is auto development tutorial and we will surely add this module to that repository so that you can take it from here and learn so if you like our channel you can subscribe to subscribe it and like our video for more updates thank you